Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're here with yet another video, y'all. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and turn your notifications on so you can be notified when I go live or post a new video. Hey everybody, welcome back. Anybody who has been here before, welcome everybody who's new. Today I will be using my brand new 2XL duck tips from Nailed by Brittany. Um, my bubble bath nude from bomb nails and obviously my size 16 Kalinsky brush from bomb nails I will also be using bomb nails monomer in this video and yeah, let's just get into it y'all um, I love these duck tips. Um, if y'all don't know who nailed by Brit is that's my girl from TikTok. She is a young beautiful creator on TikTok. She just came out with her own uh, little brand she is selling tips and cuticle bits right now um, She is known on tiktok for her beautiful application like this girl when she does when she does prep baby Okay, so she's pretty much selling all the cuticle bits that she loves and uses herself um, Down to like everything she pretty much everything she uses for prep and the things she loves um, and I love these duck tips y'all as y'all know on my channel. I've done a couple sets of duck nails They are growing on me, but I really love excuse me. Y'all. I really love these taper ducks. It's like a very Toned down still has that little flare on there, but it's not too like crazy y'all I don't like those overly crazy duck tips. I love these and y'all I have bought I think two Yeah, I bought um uh, the regular duck tips off of Amazon, and then I bought the extra large duck tips off of Amazon. These are the 2XL. Um, they come like 450 in a pack. The two ones I bought off Amazon for like maybe $15 a pop, y'all, uh, they didn't come with that much in them. This is actually like a whole filled uh, thing that she's selling over there. The ones on Amazon come in little tiny containers and you're probably getting 10 of each size in each one which is always was always weird to me that they did it like that both of mine from amazon came like that so when i got my um mail um you know because i love to show people love y'all especially small businesses especially like other women and businesses and people who are just flourishing and Brittany is a beautiful um she, young woman who is flourishing she's also a nail tech she does nails on tiktok like every day you could catch her monday through friday over there on tiktok um have a blast her mods are great everybody's amazing over there tiktok and youtube are two totally different worlds tiktok is more like young and vibrant and youtube's like old and geriatric you know what i'm saying so <clears throat> i really do love it over there however i just got to get used to the lives because i cannot be how i am over here on youtube in my lives on um, those lives and i think that's a lot of the reason if you go to tiktok and watch nail videos you'll notice that um the people who are on videos will interact with their mods and they'll only answer questions and they'll say hi to people who come in that they catch saying hey um you'll never catch them really uh full-blown talking and then again a lot of them are nail techs and they're doing a job so they're doing nails so they're really focused on the job that they're doing for the client but i think there's a reason for that because um see on youtube um when i go on my lives i can say pretty much anything as long as it doesn't hurt or harm anybody else as long as it's not like bullying or anything like that anything harmful to anybody else you can pretty much say it as long as you're not monetizing it uh, especially on lives my videos not so much i don't do that but on my lives, we like to have fun, you know? You can't do that on TikTok. They're very sensitive. One curse, you're, you're coming up with a restriction. They get you quick, too. Um, so going forward, I think that's how I'm going to, when I go live over there, because I do enjoy it. We, we had a blast last week. A lot of people came in. They were asking questions. It gives also the girls who know things in, the, who are my mods, um, who like Rachel and Cynthia, they... Um, we're helping people answering questions, you know, and it gives those girls who have knowledge of things to answer questions and you know You're you're actually kind of like a mod over there on YouTube. Nobody comes in and answers questions Most of us all know each other. It's very intimate and small unless you got all the children Bombarding so yeah, TikTok is a little bit different. So I have to when now when I go back on once I'm unbananed um, when I go back on, I'm going to talk to my mods, say hi to people, answer questions. We were answering a lot of questions 
um, everybody was asking, you know, uh, where my, where I got my product, who's my product, you know, so all of those great questions, um, for business is great. So anyway, let's get back into the duckies, y'all. I love these freaking duck tips. Um, I know Bomb Nails will be getting duck tips in. I heard Gabby say that on one of her videos. So we will be also getting duck tips, y'all. Um, and I hope they're these like extra, extra hint, hint. <laughs> I hope these are these extra long ones. Cause really these are the only ones that I found where I can get this tapered duck look. The other ones, it, it gave a, a tapered duck look, but it was a little bit more flary than I, than I, um, that I had hoped. If y'all were on live and watched me do the Hello Kitty set with the Frenchies, with the little Hello Kitties, I tried to do a tapered duck and y'all can definitely tell the difference in the, um, flare at the end. So yes, I definitely do love these duckies. Um, they're not hard. They're just a little weird to shape. These are actually easier to shape than the full on duck because when you have that top flare it kind of curves over so you could really mess up if you do too much over there you could really mess up how the side of your nail looks as, as far as that curve um you have to watch how you lay your application also with ducks y'all would never believe this but these are harder than the russian gothic tips that Rachel did on the channel, and I also did. I think I did it on a... Yeah, no, it was a live, so <clears throat> I also did them. These are harder than those, and it's not even an application thing. It's more of a filing thing because you have to really be careful when you're filing. You also have to be careful laying acrylic because that end piece right there, that little flare, could get kind of thick if you're not careful because what you're doing is you're always... You're patting it a lot because you have to get it to kind of go out farther than an actual nail would be because it's got the flare so you have to kind of pat 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 it into the flare um so that could get kind of that can get thicky on a quick so you have to watch that you definitely have to be careful with your side walls and under the nail um because it's just going to make more filing for you also with duckies i like to concentrate more on the surface of the nail Whereas I'll go in and definitely shape the sides up, especially like these tapered ones are a little bit more easy to file than the full on duck. Um, or the duck where you're trying to extend it out, those get kind of tricky too. Um, but yeah, so um, this application was beautiful. I'm using my bubble bath, y'all. This bubble bath has me in a chokehold, y'all. Like I cannot stop using it. I just love it. It's the most perfect formula. And I really hate to say this on here because I know, I know you guys are just going to sell it out and whatever. I, I'm literally halfway through. Um, I made myself a little four ounce because I had a bunch of four ounces left over from all my clears that I've used. I had like five of them. So, um, <clears throat> so I put like the ones I got doubles of in my four ounce containers, like a Rosita, Frasita, uh, Cover Princess. A lot of the ones I really like, Baddy Nude, I put a lot of them in the four ounces. But y'all, this bubble bath has me in like a choky kanoki for real. Like, I love this. I love, it's just like the perfect, like, I don't know, man. I just love nudes like that. Like I told y'all, this is like the translucent -y birthday suit. Like, I really, different consistency because they're a different formula. Um, the birthday suit's from the old vendor. This is from the new vendor. Definitely, I think personally, it's a way better, uh, even though the old consistency was still buttery and beautiful i really love this uh new collection the consistency of it like teddy but they were all just great teddy bear uh pink me uh the pinkaboo nude they were all just so good buttery patty nude rosita frasita oh my god cover print they were all good bubble gum that i really love this new supplier y'all for the covers and things like that so i'm really happy about um, these acrylics and like I said look how much of this bubble bath that I've already used already and I just put this in this container y'all because I, I literally use it every set now um, I think I'm going to use Rosita Frasita for my next set I love that one too that's a pretty like um, it gives me like a toned down rosewood kind of it's got like a little bit of a mauvey undertone y'all are going to see I'm going to do like a flower set 
with it uh with some transfer foils it's gonna be pretty but anyway oh i forgot to mention this is a collaboration for 420 with my boo freaking toy and rachel my two girls we're doing a 420 collaboration i can't believe i forgot to say that in the beginning what the hell um so we're doing a collaboration toy came to me and rachel asked us if we wanted to do a collaboration and of course we would we love toy um, Toy is an amazing woman. I love her. I'm so happy she's here on this platform. I can't wait to start um, hearing some of her stories because, y'all, I got some crazy ass stories. I be telling some crazy ass stories on here. It's about time another motherfucker get on here and tell us some crazy ass stories because I can't be the only one with crazy stories. You know what I'm saying? I can't be. It's just not possible. You know what I'm saying? It's just not p -p 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 possible. So, yeah, thank you, Toy, for that. We love that. We love that. We'll be there for it, too, baby. You know you know we will, okay? Um, so, yeah, y'all. Uh, dude, I have been... Uh, story time. I have been in a really weird place, y'all. Like, I have been just so overwhelmed. Not with just, like, grief and sadness, but... I feel, I don't know what's going on in life, but I feel like everything around me is just, like, crumbling. Now, um, when I say that, uh, just everything, you know, it's like everything just goes bad all at once. Like, things start just going bad, terrible at once. That's what's been happening to me. So, um, I got in trouble at work for my sleeping, my sleep studies in May. Um, when I got caught the first time, remember I told y'all about that, uh, they told me to go to HR EAP. Now, EAP is a place where you go to talk to people about, like, FMLA and things like that. And what they do is they point you, or you could do mental health, you could talk to them about addiction, you could talk to them literally about anything. They have their own counselors. This is, like, for the state. Um, and... I know this because I've been there a long time. So when they referred me there, I said, well, I don't have to go there because they just referred you. They're like, you could talk to them and then they'll refer you to other people. Like if you can't find the means of like support, go to other people. I have the means of support. I have my own doctors. Um, I'm getting a sleep study done. Remember I was telling y'all I was having trouble staying awake and things like that. And I had got caught. Yeah. So anyway, uh, probably like three weeks ago I was in there it was um it was real early no it wasn't real early in the morning no I'm lying it was after lunch I'm lying it was after lunch I'm sitting there I'm doing my work and um I have my headphones in I'm listening I'm listening to like a podcast I like to listen to podcasts or like drink champs or like boosie whatever I like to listen to shit while I'm doing my work um or I'll get on YouTube and watch videos um and uh, all all I remember is I was listening to a podcast doing work. And next thing I remember, uh, there was a tap, tap, tap. Now, y'all know I got a promotion. I'm on a probationary period with my promotion, okay? I have a year probation. My year, my year's up. So I got caught again by this dude who's higher. He's one of the higher ups. He's not my higher up, but he's higher up. So that's all that matters, really. And he was not nice about it. And I had my one year evaluation and he was just so nasty, y'all. And I had to stop him and tell him, uh, excuse me, who are you, who are you talking to? Because me guys, like I demand respect from everybody across the board. I don't give a sh I don't care if you're King Tut. Okay. I don't care if you are the... I demand respect from everybody. You talk to me like a human being, I'm going to speak to you like a human being. And for a man not to have, like, compassion, like, I've been through a lot in the last couple years. Um, you know, in the last four years, I've had a lot of things happen to me throughout life as a little girl. Things throughout my life, you know what I'm saying? So, I've been going through it with really bad PTSD. Like, sometimes I could be up all night. I can't sleep. I wake up 20, 30 times during the night. I fall asleep. You know, I just, I've been going through it, man. And it's okay. It's okay. That's why I'm here talking to y'all because everybody goes through it and it's okay. Like, I'm going to get through it. You know what I'm saying? I'm a strong ass bitty. So I'm going to get through it. I'm going to thrive and I'm going to be the bad bitch that I've always been my whole life. But 
other people don't show compassion for these type of situations. And I've been at my job for over six years. I'm a good worker. Every evaluation I've had up until now has been outstanding. Even the evaluations on my probationary period here for a year and my probate on my um promotion <clears throat> have all been outstanding. All of them outstanding. I am suffering from something that's going on. Also, I have all this other stuff going on with my brother, which is a whole nother story. Um you know, and it's just a lot. It's just a lot for one person. Can I handle it? Absolutely. Will I get through it? Absolutely. But in the moment, it's a lot. Okay. It's a lot to deal with. It's a lot to have all of these things happening at once. So it's, you know, this is happening at my job and then this is happening, um, in my personal life with my brother. And then yesterday, um, to another story. So y'all, I am sleeping. My brother hasn't been here in weeks. I haven't talked to him in weeks. Like, he left, and that was the last time I spoke to him. He hasn't hit me up, and I don't feel like I should hit him up um, because... What, for what? You know what I'm saying? Like, for for what? What happened was what happened, and I didn't do nothing, so I'm not hitting nobody up. I'm not gonna... If I'm a bother in your life, I'm not gonna bother you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just not that type of person. So, <clears throat> anyway, yesterday... I wake up to somebody in my house and it's my brother. Haven't talked to him. Haven't, you know, haven't said a word. He hasn't given me my keys back. Now he hasn't lived here in weeks. Even before that, he was not here for months. So what are you doing? <laughs> you have your own home. What are you doing? So he comes, he gets the camera from the front. Cool. That's his, even though I supported him for two years while he sat in a room and did nothing. And, made no money and paid no bills whatever takes the camera or whatever he leaves so when he leaves i say to him i say hey listen you need to contact me before you come you cannot just walk in my house like that my house because every house that we've had he's lived with me i've never lived with him he's lived with me so um yeah so even before my house i paid 95 percent of the bills he was only giving me 350 for taking up half my apartment no you don't have say so here um, and when are you going to give me my keys back? I would like to give them to Emmanuel because Emmanuel doesn't have a set of keys from when he comes after school. Now, Chrissy, he has after school program anyway, so he don't get my daughter's always home before him anyway. And if he does come home after school, they're only like five minutes apart. Like he gets off his bus and my daughter walks up like, you know what I'm saying? So it's really perfect timing. But anyway, so I'm like, you know, that's all I said. Hey, you need to get in contact with me and you need to make sure that I answer you before you just come walking in my house. So he says to me, he goes, well, I'm pa I paid my portion of the rent this month. So I'm paid up till May. I can walk in pretty much whenever I want. I said, no, you can't, even though you are paid up till May, you should be paid up till August because that was our lease, but you're not. And I gave you grace and you left and that was cool. Um, and he had even offered to pay till August, but I already knew he wasn't going to. So I was like, mm, okay, if you do, you do. And you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to beg you. No, I'm not going to do that. If you're saying you will, so let's see, you know, to put your money where your fucking mouth is, bro. And uh, that never happened, of course. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not stressing it. And uh, so I said, so be you have your own home. I don't even know where the kid lives. I can't go to your house and do that. So you can't come here and do that. Whether you paid, you didn't, you didn't even give me 30 days notice you were leaving. You gave me a day notice. You told me you were leaving a, two days prior to the first. So yeah, of course you're going to pay your rent. What are you talking about? You, of course you are, but that doesn't give you the right to walk in my house, especially after everything I did to you, you think that little $350 equates to everything that I did, did for you? Absolutely not. If we broke it down on the scale factor of how much, who owes who and what and this and that, you owe me a lot. Half, of, if that was me and my kids and I had to go live with that man and I didn't have a dime to my name and I couldn't find, and not even find a job, I just sat in a room and didn't want to get a job, he, I would have to pay, I would be put on a payment plan to pay him back half of every single thing that he put out for me those two years. Oh, absolutely, no doubt about it. 
so anyway, y'all, um, he got pissy with me. He goes, well, I'm going to come back and get the rest of my stuff and I'm going to take the modem. I said, well, I've been asking you for two weeks to get the Wi-Fi turned off because you can't get Wi-Fi turned on without getting it. the person that lives here prior or whose name it was in calling and getting it shut off. I'm not him, so I can't call and have it shut off. You know what I'm saying? He has to do that. And I've been asking him for weeks. He's procrastinated. So now you want to come back and get the Wi-Fi box. The Wi-Fi is still on in your name here. So I can't even get mine on, but you want to come take the Wi-Fi from me and my kids. So I said, no. You can come back tomorrow. My Wi-Fi is coming on tomorrow because while all this was going on, <clears throat> um, I was in the back on time with my Wi-Fi service. Boom. Got my, got my stuff turned on. Yada, yada. I'm waiting for my box right now. It's supposed to come today, but it's not. It's coming tomorrow. Um, but anyway, so you know what this kid did? My brother that I supported for two years and just been there for his whole life anything he's ever needed always had his back this kid threatened no not only threatened called the cops sat out front of my house guys called the police sat out front of my house because I told them no you will be a decent person and you will leave and you will come back tomorrow all I asked you was don't walk in my house you need to tell me before you come I could be moved into that room. I'm waiting for my bed. It comes Monday, but I could have been moved into that room. I could have been in there butt ass naked. You know what I'm saying? Give me my privacy, my respect, and my peace. You don't just walk in my house. You haven't been here in months. You don't just do that to people. That's not that's not common courtesy. That's very disrespectful. Especially the way everything went down. You don't do that. I haven't even spoken to the kid, you know? So anyway, he sits outside. Um, and calls the cops, y'all. He comes back to get this Wi-Fi box. And I said, no, you'll be a decent person. You will come back tomorrow when I have my box and my Wi-Fi is turned on. And that's how it's going to go. No, that wasn't how it was going to go for him. He called the cops on his single mother sister, sat his little, uh, sat his little bitch ass outside. Like the little he is. Waited for those cops to come. I'm sitting on my back porch because I thought that, uh, first I thought they were going to take way longer. <laughs> right, y'all? And then also, um, I thought he would just leave and go and come back because he still has a shitload of other stuff here. But no, because he's such a big man, y'all. He had to feel manly. That made him feel manly. You know what I'm saying? So he had to come. That was the only thing he had over my head was, I mean, we all got cell phone service and hotspots, so we were, we're good. But that was the only thing he had over my head to take for my kids. He didn't, when he walked in, my son, my son goes, hi, Uncle Eric, you know, because my kids don't know what's going on. They know their uncle moved out, but they don't know, like, the logistics of it. He didn't say one word to my son, not even hi, back. Yeah, and I'm just like, you weak-minded mother sucker a four months you've known somebody and this is how you treat the only people he would y'all guys if you understood how this kid would have been homeless without me homeless not eating for he he doesn't even know how to live on his own the job he has now is the first serious job he's ever had in his whole life isn't that crazy how people will turn? What a week. My four months. And you turn around and treat the sister. After and he knows my whole life after everything that I've been through with people. After everything that I've been through in life, you turn around and do that to me over a wi-fi box because i told you not to walk in my house and to make sure you get in contact with me to make sure it's okay to come in my house oh and then as he's leaving i said well can i at least get my keys back i don't feel comfortable with you being able to walk in my house so listen to this guys he was taking the keys off the ring the cop goes ma'am it's a civil matter so he looks at me with the key, puts it back on his keychain and goes, hmm, it's a civil matter. Gets in his truck and pull. And, and when uh, before he leaves, I asked the cop, I said, if it's a civil matter and I can't have my keys, what gave you the permission to walk in my house and take that Wi-Fi box out of my house? 
ma'am, it's a civil matter. That's all the guy kept repeating to me. Ma'am, it's I, yo, the Pope, yo. Some of them are the most disgusting. Like, okay, I heard you. You said it was a civil matter. You said that five times there. But why didn't you tell him it was a civil matter when he tried to come in my, when he was coming in my house to take stuff? Isn't that also a civil matter, if I'm not mistaken? I have proof you move out. I have him on camera. You hauling out of here. I have it on text message saying I'll be out by the first. Y'all. I, when I tell y'all, I will never speak to this kid as long as I live on this earth in my life. I will never speak to this kid again. And when all fails, because it will. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. This type of behavior has happened before. Not at this disrespectful scale, but it's happened before. Okay? So, where did he wind up? Whose help did he need? Trust me, I'm an I'm a independent person. I've been living on my own since 18 years old. Getting it, okay? I know how to survive. I know how to live. I know how to pay my bills and be okay. He does not. And now he's got a girlfriend he has to take care of because she quit her job and she's a gold digger and doesn't even like him because she thinks he has money. But one thing my brother's good, he's good at perpetuating lies. Like, he, he, if you met him, you would think he was caked up, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? If you met him, you would think he had all this money. He doesn't. He perpetuates this because... It's, it's a long story. We'll save that for another day. So she initially thought that he had money. Wait till she finds out. Wait till she finds out that this kid has no money. He's She's going to leave the kid. Okay, I'm mom. doing a voiceover. What's up? Um, what's your name? Uh, whatever. You, it's, it's whatever. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to cook some steaks tomorrow. Um, anyway. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, guys, so that's what's, sorry, y'all. So that's what's been going on over here. I just want it to be done and over with. I cannot wait till the first. I cannot wait till my locks are changed. I cannot wait till any of that. Because now what I have to do is worry for weeks while I go to work if he's going to come in here while I'm not here and take my some of my stuff or whatever he just feels like taking. Because he's a, this kid's a weak-minded, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing, like, loyal nothing about this person like I don't even know this person actually for real I don't even know this person and I don't want to know him and I don't care but I just want it to be cut dry done get your shit out of the closet he left the front my front closet a mess all shit still there like yeah oh it was he yeah so if that's not out by the first elf I'm gonna just throw it to the trash uh but yeah, this has been so crazy. So it's been a lot, y'all. It's been a lot. I'm I'm surprised I'm still like here doing videos. Now tomorrow I gotta uh stay home again and wait for my stuff to come. Um my Wi-Fi box because a crackhead might steal it off the front. It was supposed to come today. They said it would definitely come today, but uh it didn't come today. It switched on FedEx thing. It said the 17th. So, uh, yeah, now it's ridiculous, y'all. It's just been a, it's just been, it's been, man. And, and it keeps, I hope it gets better from here because, yeah, it's got to get better from here. You know what I'm saying? It can't get, it can't get worse. It can't get, I mean, it could always get worse. Let's be real. <laughs> it could always get a little bit worse, but I'm not anticipating any more any more um bullshit you know what i'm saying once it's all out of my life i need it just to be gone you know and i kind of do feel more peaceful except when somebody walked in my house i was feeling a little bit at peace you know and then i'm like damn this motherfucker's going out my key bro get my key bro you gone baby you gone like the wind that's one thing about a weak ass man whether it be a brother a husband a boyfriend whatever a weak ass man when they when you know a weak-ass man because they always have to have one up on a woman, right? So I can guarantee that this moving out in four months of knowing this girl is because, one, she has her own apartment and her own shit. Now, she quit her job and he's paying for her apartment and her own shit. 
okay? So I already know the mindset behind this. He's so obsessed with it, like, and he knows the girl don't, like, one thing he told me, he was like, you know, when we get in fights, she acts like she don't care. And I'm like, Eric, she has never even bought herself food around you. She's never even paid for a thing around you. You already know what she wants from you. She wants money. She's told you this. She said to him, I don't want to work. I want a man who can take care of me. She said that. And she's honest about it. She's on Sugar Daddy websites all over the, like, all the shit he showed me, all the shit he said about her. That's why I can't take this serious. Like, you did that to your sister for somebody you used to stand here and call names and, oh, I'm just over there again. Well, if I'm going to pay for dinners, I might as well get it. Like, that's how he would talk about the girl to me. And then when I would say something, he'd be like, oh, well, uh, you know, he would defend. I'm like, dude, you know, do you, you do listen to how you talk about this girl to me, right? How you went through all her stuff. You found all these abortions. You had, like, multiple abortions. All this, all this stuff. So... You do understand you tell me that. I know I'm your sister, right? And you're you're confiding in me because I'm the only person you have to confide in because you have no, we, that's it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm your, also your sister and I love you. So when you tell me these things that she's doing and, um, you know, just expecting you to pay for everything and you're paying her rent and her bills and um, all this stuff, I'm going to judge. That's like if I were to tell you, like when I told him about the, the money I loaned my friend, he went on a whole shebang about how you should never let him in, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? Like you would because you care about me. I'm your sister and I don't care. He's disliked boyfriends of mine that I have had for treating me. They didn't even treat him a certain way. That If they treated me a certain way, he just hated them forever. So you know what I'm saying? Like that's how, that's just how it works. I don't hate the girl. I don't care. About, I didn't hate her, but the things he would say about her, she's that's exactly what she wants. She wants all of her ex boyfriends are over the age of 60 with money. All of them. She's a 20 something year old girl. She's on a sugar daddy website. It's a hundred dollars to have a conversation with her on this website. When he first went on a date with her, the first day he came home and said something's off about her. The date was like a job. She was too good at the date. She, you know what I'm saying? Like, she was too good at it. It was like something she did all the time. And he was right. When he dug deeper, he was right. My brother is a very good judge of character. That's one thing I can say about my brother. He is a good judge of character. He could read somebody like a freaking, like a book. And he doesn't need even need to know you for long. He only has to sit and have a conversation with you. And he can tell. you can tell. That's one thing about him I can say. So when you're telling me all these things and then you do all this stuff, it's like, are you dumb? This isn't even going to last. And you're doing this to the only person who cares and loves about you for something that's not, this is not going to, trust me when I tell you the toxicity going on over there. But yeah, that was the whole drop for getting the apartment. Oh, let me get an apartment. She doesn't have a job anymore. I'm going to force her under my roof so I have the control because she's a really young, pretty girl. And he's very insecure about that. Very insecure about that. Okay, because that's how weak men are. They're they're very insecure people. So he's he's always been insecure about that. That girl is very pretty, and she can get any fucking man she wanted with money. She could she could bag a dude with money for sure, and he knows that. So he went and got that apartment. She don't have a job now. Now your only option is moving under my roof, and of course she's gonna do it if he's paying the bills. Of course she's gonna do it. Yeah, control, weird shit, weak-minded fucking men, dude. That's how these men think. Weak. I never thought my brother, I never took my, my brother for a person like that. Like, very weak-minded, like, you know what I'm saying? How are you standing here telling yourself the truth? Oh, I know this is the way it is. Oh, I know, I'm just having fun. I, you know, because he, he didn't have fun for a long time, y'all. He, he sat in this house for like four years. Dude. So I get it, okay? Anyway, we're drilling here. Um, and, oh, I'm using my new cuticle bit. This is the fine, a tapered barrel bit from Brittany, uh, nailed by Brit. Everything will be linked to the, by, damn, that was a long vent session. I got a vent, man. I got it, dude. It's part of life. Um, so now here, now y'all know all my business. Y'all, y'all know me, man. Um, but this is my fine tapered barrel, bar, yeah, fine tapered barrel bit from nailed by Brit. Um, I love these bits. These are really good bits. Uh, and I have one like this from Panna as well. Um, but I like the tapered barrel bits. They're really good. 
um that is not a safety bit so you have to be careful with them i actually have never seen one of those in safety form yeah i've never i don't think i ever have but you have to be very careful with it because those babies cut they don't cut like the ceramic bits cut but they cut baby so you got to be very careful and now i'm going in buffing with my bomb nails buffer obviously it's a buffer it's buffing away y'all i love my little nail room dude um i love to go in there and just sit there and like clean shit and like organize and like um now i have more of a want to do content like i just did content last night and i was thinking about doing some tonight i gotta do my timu haul so i'll probably get that done tonight but um yeah like i love it i can't wait till my bed gets here monday um and i can set my room up put my dresser in get my daughter in her room um i gotta clean my back porch for the summer like i gotta get a bunch of stuff out of here boxes um once i get uh the boxes out of my living i got boxes man you know what i'm saying because <clears throat> i like to keep boxes for stuff because if i ever move i put shit back in its box like i keep my vacuum box my fan boxes my air conditioner boxes my all my boxes because then when i move I, everything's got a box bro um everything important has a box you know so yeah that's the gist of it so anyway we're gonna go in here with some nail art i'm using nail reserves i don't know <clears throat> and then also nail reserves as i think that's acid green i want to say that's acid green um and then i'm going to also be using this new one from melody suit not melody susie madam glam it's this beautiful like iridescent like chromatic uh purpley color and it's so beautiful y'all they just sent me this with a couple other colors and i it was unfortunate because last night i wanted to use uh the colors in a set but i have i want to use the colors i just got in a set because they all go together so it'd be a pretty set but i had this 420 collab and it did have a green in it but it was not the green that i needed you know what i'm saying i needed i was going for more vibrant um when i think of 420 i think of hippie i think of fun i think of whatever dude you could do so much with 420 nails um I looked at inspos off the computer as well um, just to get a kind of an idea of something I wanted to do and every idea that I looked at I didn't even I didn't take one not one inspo off of it except the Wheatleys but those I was gonna draw those anyway um, and those are hard to draw especially when you're trying to draw them small I even had to break out my nails by dev brushes for the detailer brushes because baby I was struggling, man, and I'm good at I'm good at a big ass pot leaf. Like I could do a nice, decent sized pot leaf. Like I could draw one really nice, but uh, the little ones, it's the polish. It kind of you have to be careful because when you do a leaf, that you want the leaves to separate. You don't want it to be all mushed together. And when you do nail art that small, with oh, I could have used my nails by Dev. I have liners from her that are thick. Green, a green one too. Oh hell no. Nah. See, I got to start using my stuff that I paid a lot of money for. I paid a lot of money for those nails. By I think I spent 200 bucks on her shop that one time. I got the liner kit when it, for, it was her very first one that came out. I got her two Kalinske brushes. I got uh, a collection of hers. I think it was like, um, what was it? It was the, it had like Nick splat in it and stuff. Uh, it was a bunch of colors, but they were like more primary-ish colors. Like uh, blue, purple, whatever. Y'all get, get the gist. Did I get a red? Yeah, there was a red in there. But yeah, man, I don't use those. And they're good for this type of thing because they that green wouldn't have mushed together like this mushes together. Oh, and y'all, did you see me use base coat? So the base coat I'm using is the one from Dynamic. Um, I used it this time. And it did help with the adhesion for the gel polish. No more streaks for your girl. So I do suggest getting you a nice base coat. Um, I was watching this girl apply base coat on TikTok. And she wiped the base coat off with, I think she said it was an alcohol. I didn't do that because I don't know what type of, she was using like a Koopa base coat. Um, and I don't know the difference between that. Everything has a different gel. Even primers are different. So I was like, mm, I'm not going to go over it with uh, any alcohol or anything. 
I'm going to just go on. And it was really nice. I liked it. It didn't have any streaks. Um, it helped itself level. Like definitely base coat is something that I will be using from now on. Because that nothing pisses me off more, y'all, than a streaky polish application. And it, sometimes it's not even the polish. It's you. Because I have a heavy hand with things. Um, acrylic, I had to learn to be very light-handed. So you have to kind of learn to be light-handed a little bit with nails. Um, for certain things. So yeah, we're just doing a Frenchie here. Look how freaking beautiful this y'all I'm telling y'all This is the look that I have been trying to get with those freaking other duck nails and I just couldn't get it. I couldn't get it Oh man I'm telling you that solar eclipse did some shit to my life. I don't know what it did, but it better go back It better go back so yeah, y'all know I need to clean up my Frenchies 85 times. So, um, and, and again, on camera, sometimes Frenchies look like there's, um, stop doing that. There's nothing wrong with it. Cure it, cure it. But when you're sitting there staring at your finger, you can see the imperfections. Okay. So I don't want to hear it. I'm always going to go in and clean up a line and I'm not, I'm not, not, I'm not, I don't feel no type of way about it. There's some people out here that could swoop, swoop, hold an alley-oop and go about their business. I can't swoop, swoop, and alley-oop and go about my business. You know what I'm saying? I need to clean up a freaking line or two, and it's okay. I'm proud of it, okay? Shit, at least I'm trying, okay? Anyway, y'all, uh, this collaboration um, with the two girls, uh, <clears throat> I care about a lot. They're really good friends of mine. Thank y'all for um, Toy for hitting us up to do a collaboration. Uh there's only been a couple people on YouTube that have ever hit me up to do collaborations. Um, one being Portia. She always hit me up for stuff like that. Um, Rachel, Toy, you know. Um, and I really appreciate that. Because sometimes people think because you're a little bit of a bigger creator, they don't... Oh, well, let's not, we're not going to ask her to do a collab, you know. She's not going to... You know, so I never really got asked to do collabs or go on other people's, you know, lives or things like that. I don't know why. I think that's why, maybe. Um, but, yeah. So, here we are. We're on the uh, thing. I had to do this French a little bit down more. I'm using my Bomb Nails um, number 4 3D brush for cleanup because the point um, is very good and I love it. Um, now I will not be dipping this in any acetone. If you see, I got two separate dishes up there. One's for acetone and alcohol and one is just for alcohol because I notice when I use my acetone, usually I have a acetone and alcohol mix up there because it cleans my brushes out better. Like the liner brushes out better. Alcohol just doesn't do it for me. It keep it makes your brush weird. There's still polish in there. I don't know how people do that. Like don't use acetone on your brush. I only put a little acetone in and mostly alcohol, but it I need that because it helps my brushes like clean out really nice. Um, and I haven't had any problems yet with my brushes, and I use them crazy every day, so every time I do a set. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep doing that. So I uh, for this time, uh, well, I noticed that when I am cleaning up mistakes over gel polish, well, obviously that's an acetone alcohol mix. So when I go over polish, like say. I'm doing a French, I cure the French, and I come out and do some more art over the French tip, and I make a mistake and I clean it off, I'm not cleaning it off with just alcohol. I'm cleaning it off with alcohol and acetone, so it's gonna mess that French up underneath. Um, so when I'm doing like cleanings and things like these, I'm gonna now have just a little dish of alcohol next to me just for my brushes that I don't wanna dip in acetone, um, and that being this brush, because this is a real, uh, Kalinsky haired 3D brush and that acetone will eat it straight up like it did my nails by dev brush um, It didn't eat my nails by dev brush off. I just got to kind of Recondition her again and have her sit in some oil and uh, Chill out because I did bring her back from the dead a couple times y'all a couple times because sometimes I put a, a couple times I put a little bit too much acetone in my desk with my alcohol and you can't do that with Kalinsky brushes. It'll dry. It's it's a dr it like will dry them out bad, and they'll fret. They'll like poof out. You don't want that. You don't want that, dude. So um, so yeah. So we're gonna continue some nail art. Uh, I'm gonna go in with some blooming gel. We're gonna do some uh pretty designs. We're gonna draw some pot leaves. 
Uh, we're going to do um, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I think I've blathered enough. Thank you for being my therapy session. Oh, this is that Aurora color. Uh, what was it called? Oh, my God. I'll have everything linked below for, Matt, for, um, for all the products that I use here today. Um, yeah, but this was just so beautiful. I don't even know how I picked this color out. This must have been... Um, I don't even know if I picked some of these out. No, I did. I picked these ones out. They asked me to pick out. They asked me to pick four out. I picked five out. They sent me the five. Because I'm like, what? People get like E. Why are you sending me four? I'm famous. I'm the queen of England. Send me fucking sex butch. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I lost my TikTok video last week. Um, actually, I have the whole first part of it with all the application. I just don't have the end. And then I wound up finishing. It was the black French nails. I wound up coming live on YouTube and finishing those. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, y'all, I'll be putting this out um, Thursday. We're putting this out. So this will be out Thursday. And then I'll see y'all for Freestyle Friday. Um, and then I have to wait till after the 19th to be uh, go back on TikTok at all. So, <laughs> oh my God, they're so sensitive over there, dude. I don't even know what I said. I think my daughter came in and she wanted her phone. And I said, get out, I'll kick your ass. And they threw me off, dude. They took that literal. Like, you can't even joke on there. Like, it's so crazy. They need to stop. They really just need to stop. Uh, last night I had a blast. Me and Rachel actually were on the phone for a little bit doing content together. Um, that's like a new thing for us, and it's really fun. Um, and it and it instead of sitting there alone doing nails by yourself, um, I wish I could go live and record at the same time. I need another Archon mount. Um, but then that would suck because y'all would see the design and you would not even watch the video. So that's like, whatever, that wouldn't work. Uh, but yeah, I wish, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just fun talking to somebody and doing your nails, you know, uh, it makes the time go by faster. Um, we didn't get to talk the whole time because I don't have Wi-Fi in my house and my kids only have their phones to, uh, enjoy right now so my daughter was like uh ma'am I need my phone and I'm like Wah. I couldn't even say no because there's no other device you can go on until tomorrow so uh yeah anyway y'all I love y'all uh I hope y'all enjoyed the application I hope y'all enjoyed the video uh I hope y'all enjoyed the therapy session <laughs> meaning thank y'all for being my therapist thank y'all for being there for me Thank you all for always encouraging me because whether you, you know it or not, y'all do encourage me. Um, and I have, do have special relationships with a lot of, um, the ladies that are on my platform. And I really thank you all very much for always being here, supporting me, coming to Freestyle Friday, um, having my back, whether it be on this channel or not, I appreciate all of you. And, um, I just appreciate being able to come on here. And, you know, let things, let things out, um, in a healthy way, um, and talk to people because sometimes bottling stuff up, y'all, it's not really that good. I've done that my whole life. I'm a bottler and then I just explode. And that's how bottlers are. We're called bottlers. Uh, <laughs> a bottle, uh, you're a bottler. Okay. A bottler. Yeah. Once, if you bottle stuff up, don't get it out, write it down in a diary, talk to YouTube. I don't know, but get it out. It's good to get it out. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I'm going to go lay. No, I'm not. I'm going to go in my nail room and I'm going to. What I want to start doing, y'all, is uh, re swatching all my colors, my nudes. I'm going to start with my nudes and my pink nudes versus my, you know, toned down nudes. I want to do that. So, when, like, when I do have people, they can just pick out what color they want. My old swatch sticks are old. I, I'm looking at them right now. They're just worthless. I don't even know. They're not in order. They're not coordinated. I'm going to go through all my bomb nails collections. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to reorganize. I was organizing by color, but I think I'm going to organize by collection. Um, like Christmas, Valentine's Day, summer. I think I might do that. Yeah. But I'm definitely, when I do my swatch sticks, I'm going to be doing them by collection. Um you know, Kawaii collection. I'm going to have them all because that makes more sense, you know, because if you ask me for a color, well, then I'd know what collection it is. And, but whatever. I just like, you know, whatever, whatever I want to do. it, And that's what I'm going to do. And you can't stop me. <laughs> oh my God. All right, y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Thank y'all. Um, yeah. And I'll see y'all on the flip side. Make pray for me, baby. Pray to the Lord above for me. 
Cause I really need it, baby. Yeah. All right, peace, y'all. Oh.